Okay, I could do another rant about our friend SPF. You remember him, the CEO of FTX? Hi, y'all, it's SPF. It just came out in the last couple hours that Maxine Waters, who has been seen taking pictures of him, blowing kisses to him, is not going to subpoena this guy to testify in front of Congress? What are we talking about? SPF, for the last week, two weeks, has been a fucking media tour. He's going around trying to act like Mr. Honest. He wants to figure it out and get people their money back. Every hard question that SPF gets asked, like, hey, SPF, where did the $8 billion go? Hey, SPF, how did you, did you know that you were commingling funds, that money were depositing to FTX? You were basically gambling on stocks with Almeida, same parent company? His, did, his answer, by the way, to every one of those questions is this. Uh, oh, I don't know, this news to me. I don't know where the $8 billion went. Uh, let me look it up. Uh, I gotta find out. Let me talk to some people. Oh, I don't know. Well, you said you had $4 billion like yep. that came in. Right. Yep. Is that still? Does that still exist? Was that ever real? Um. It. I. Uh, I. Uh, my guess is that that some of them might. That and um. I. You know. This guy, the CEO of FTX, is making it seem like he didn't know shit in his company. He was just sitting in the Bahamas, up with his girlfriend and his Palmaris relationship, just everyone fucking each other, but they didn't do anything business wise. Even though everyone in their company is like, they ran it all. Even though FTX advertised Barstool, I don't know, year and a half, two years ago, before he would sign the contract or whoever did for FTX, do you know that Sam Pinky Freed requested or demanded he had to talk to me on the phone? So a guy who was that involved in fucking ad dollars suddenly doesn't know where $8 billion is, doesn't know very basic things like they're commingling funds. Like, eh, I don't know, that's news to me. And people are letting get away with it. The New York Times, standing O, they're throwing bouquets at them. I mean, look, I, I've had a bad month. Um, this has not been a fun month for me. Maxine Waters, he's like, you have to testify. They're going back and forth on Twitter. She's like, SPF, you have to testify. He's like, nah, I don't really feel like it. I gotta take some time and figure out what happened. I don't even know. I'm only the CEO. And Maxine Waters is not gonna subpoena him which leads into the conspiracy. And I'm not, I try, I never thought I was a conspiracy guy, but let's just say facts. SPF is the second biggest democratic donor in the world. And I know what people are gonna be like, no, he donated to fucking Republicans too. Yeah, SPF fucking said that after he got busted. And where's the paper trail? Where's the money? Oh no, he did it all to dark causes so you can't trace it. How fucking convenient, you fucking liar, no. No, let's just call a spade a spade. Somebody, lots of people probably, are getting paid and have money and have their hands all over it and they're protecting this clown. He's gallivanting in the Bahamas. It's the biggest financial collapse ever. We're not even subpoenaing him to testify. Meanwhile, I don't care what you think of Elon Musk. This dude can't go down the street. They're investigating his offices in San Francisco because they have beds in there for boys who are working late to sleep. This guy's getting investigated for fucking putting syrup on his pancakes and SBF is just waltz around, nah, I don't know. Biggest collapse ever. People lost their lives, their jobs, their livelihoods, all their money, life savings, gone. And he's not being called to testify? What are we talking about? Sorry, I don't remember. It is somebody has their hands so deep in this and so much money in protecting his ass it's disgusting.